What will happen next in 10, 20, 30 years? What awaits humanity? Will there be a third world war and a nuclear apocalypse? Today these questions are as relevant as ever. Who can answer them? All forecasts of politicians, analysts, journalists and scientists are more like fortune telling. A lot of what they say just doesn't come true. Because they do not take into account the main thing. The entire history of mankind, past, present and future, is described in the Bible. And every year it becomes clearer and clearer. The history of the world begins with the Garden of Eden. God created Adam and Eve and placed them in a paradise with two trees in it. One tree was called the Word of God, the Bible, it was the tree of life. And another tree was called knowledge, news, it was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And man, instead of caring for and planning paradise, expanding it, eating from the Word of God, decided to eat news, various information, and was expelled from paradise. He began to create and expand hell on earth, multiplying evil. People in their sinfulness have reached to the state when every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. It was a real hell on earth, created by man himself, and God destroyed the first world. A planetary catastrophe, a global flood, erased all evil. God left only Noah's family alive, so that a new generation of God would begin with it. Through the prophet Daniel, God showed the present and the future, the birth and collapse of world empires that changed, Babylonian, Medo-Persian, Greek, Roman. The dominance of these empires was symbolized by a giant statue. During the existence of these empires, no one could challenge them, they were so majestic. But in the prophecy of Daniel, a rock was cut out, and smashed the statue. This stone is Jesus Christ. And many people think that this will happen sometime in the future. But this part of the prophecy is already being fulfilled. With the coming of Christ, a new age began, and today the kingdom of God is extended to the ends of the earth. In all nations there are churches. Daniel writes, but the holy people of the Most High will receive the kingdom and will possess it forever, yes, forever and ever. This is the end of the history of mankind, when the earth will be given to the rule of the holy children of God. Jesus Christ, having come to earth, showed what awaits the universe. Through John the Apostle, he again shows the history of the earth, opening the seven seals. The Lord opens the first seal, and we see a rider on a white horse, this is Satan. Throughout history people have been trying to distort and reject the word of God, to produce and multiply false religions all over the earth, thereby giving power to the first rider. Explaining the events of the last time, Jesus Christ said, Watch out that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, claiming, I am the Messiah, and will deceive many. Having opened the second seal, Jesus exposes the second rider on a red horse, this is a war. Christ taught this beforehand, when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Jesus opens the third seal and shows a rider on a black horse, this is mammon, a thirst for profit and wealth. The Lord preached, no servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one, and love the other, or else he will hold to the one, and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. When he opened the fourth seal, we see the fourth rider on a pale horse, his name is Death. And Hades was following close behind him. The Lord warned, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. We are all witnesses of how death and hell operate on earth. First, the whole world was shocked by the pandemic, and now a terrible bloody war is going on in Ukraine. This is real hell on earth. Christ opens the fifth seal, this is the saint's persecution, that also accompany humanity. People persecuted God's prophets, crucified Christ, tried to destroy God's church. In recent decades, persecution has increased, and today there are 145 countries in the world where Christians are persecuted and oppressed. Now receive a very important revelation. Many people ask, how could God allow so much evil? But God does not allow evil, evil is allowed by man himself, rejecting God and his life. All the seals that Jesus opened are the result of the destructive activity of people, their sinfulness, their choice towards evil. God only shows the history of the planet. False religions, wars, mammon, death, hell and persecution of saints, all these things are the work of man, 
And we are witnessing that there's more and more of it every day. Today, the questions like will there be a nuclear war? Persist. We can say for sure that the events that will take place in the near future will be much worse than a nuclear war, and the Bible prophecies describe this in detail. Christ opened the sixth seal. It is described as follows, I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair, the whole moon turned blood red, and the stars in the sky fell to earth, as figs drop from a fig tree when shaken by a strong wind. The heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up, and every mountain and island was removed from its place. Scientists agree that this is a description of a nuclear catastrophe that will soon shake the entire planet. Today the world is on the verge of this event. The world collapse will turn the earth into a burned desert, the consequences of a nuclear winter will be catastrophic. Then Jesus opens the seventh seal, which reveals what catastrophes this nuclear collapse will lead to. John the Apostle describes the seven trumpets of the apocalypse. At the sound of each trumpet, catastrophes of unprecedented force shake the earth. The first trumpet, hail and fire mixed with blood, and it was hurled down on the earth. A third of the trees were burned up. The second trumpet, a third of the sea turned into blood. The third trumpet is the fall of an asteroid, the waters became bitter. The fourth trumpet, a third of the sun and of the moon is struck. The fifth trumpet is another fall of an asteroid. It will open the abyss, and from there all the evil that God closed at the flood will come out. The sixth trumpet, the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates were released, to kill a third of mankind. John the Apostle writes, The horses and riders I saw in my vision looked like this, their breastplates were fiery red, dark blue, and yellow as sulfur. The heads of the horses resembled the heads of lions, and out of their mouths came fire, smoke and sulfur. A third of mankind was killed by the three plagues of fire, smoke and sulfur that came out of their mouths. And despite all these catastrophes and the obvious fulfillment of all biblical prophecies, even after the sixth trumpet, human will not reap in of his evil deeds, but will continue to go mad. John writes, the rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues still did not reap in of the work of their hands, they did not stop worshipping demons, and idols of gold, silver, bronze, stone and wood, idols that cannot see or hear or walk. Nor did they reap in of their murders, their magic arts, their sexual immorality or their thefts. Instead, people will choose the Antichrist and worship him. This is the apogee of the madness of mankind. In its stupidity and pride, the world reached a nuclear war, and even after that it did not bow to God, but chose the Antichrist. The seventh trumpet will sound, and there will be no more delay. The church will be taken up to heaven, and the bowls of God's wrath will be poured out on earth. When the sixth bowl is poured out, people will gather to war against God, and there will be a decisive battle in a place called Armageddon, where the devil, the beast and the false prophet will be struck. The sixth seal, the sixth trumpet and the sixth bowl describe the most terrible events that will happen through the fault of people. Therefore, the number 666 is called the number of a man. For thousands of years, God restrained his anger, despite the fact that people continued to build hell, and he gave a chance to repent, turn to God. But the Lord will take his hand away and judge the world. After that, what Daniel prophesied will happen. The Millennial Kingdom, when the holy people will rule the earth together with Christ. This is exactly what God planned from the beginning, for people to be holy and live in love. Thus, the history of mankind from beginning to end is written in the Bible and is happening before our eyes. As the prophet Daniel wrote, then the sovereignty, power and greatness of all the kingdoms under heaven will be handed over to the holy people of the Most High. His kingdom will be an everlasting kingdom, and all rulers will worship and obey him. This is the end of history, and this mystery of times and dates is revealed only to the holy children of God. You need not be filled with news, bloggers, journalists and various information from the internet that does not give solution. Start studying the Bible, listen to the sermons of the holy people of God, become part of the living church, which keeps the word of God and fulfills it exactly. God himself promised such a church that he would keep it from the hour of trial that is going to come on the whole world. 
as the first church, having answers and a plan of action from the Lord, was saved when the destruction of Jerusalem came in 70 AD, so today, every day devoting yourself to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship with the church and the breaking of the bread of the word of God, you will be able to be born again and become a child of God, you will have answers to questions about who we are, what time we live in and what will happen next. On our channels you will find many videos about the creation of the earth and Bible prophecies being fulfilled, and you will also be able to receive daily bread for spiritual growth. Throughout time, God has given man a choice, satanic pride or God's love, paradise or hell, Gehenna or the kingdom of God, holy spirit or unclean spirit. The history of mankind shows that people ignore the word of God and make this choice not in the direction of God. The first man and woman, Adam and Eve, had this choice, and they chose hell. Noah's family, who survived the flood, had this choice, but Noah's son, Ham, chose sin and damnation. God's people had this choice, but the people rebelled against the prophets, persecuted God's people, and chose to go to hell. God sent his son to earth and showed that there is still a choice. However, among the disciples of Christ was Judas, who also chose the path of betrayal. Until today, the church is persecuted and oppressed, because people reject the word of God and choose hell. But God has prepared this earth for his holy children, those who choose the Holy Spirit, the kingdom of God, paradise, humility and the love of God. The choice is yours.